Chairwoman Lee, Ranking Member Sewell, and distinguished members of this committee, good morning and thank you for having me here today. I'm especially pleased to be speaking before you today because Louisiana has unique experience in election preparation that lent itself to successful execution of our 2020, 2021, and 2022 statewide elections. In 2020, not only did Louisiana face the challenges of COVID-19 pandemic, but we also had to contend with several hurricanes and tropical storms in a major election cycle, the last of which made landfall just six days before the presidential election. In 2021, we had to contend with another major storm, Hurricane Ida, which made landfall in Southeast Louisiana six weeks prior to a statewide election. The damage caused by Ida was so widespread and severe that we were forced to reschedule the election. Thankfully, we developed a contingency plan in 2020 called Operation Go Vote, which gave our office, election workers, and partners across the state the tools necessary to successfully implement these major elections. In fact, despite the storms and ongoing pandemic, over 70.1% of eligible voters in Louisiana participated in the presidential election. Since 2014, Louisiana has successfully carried out nine statewide elections in a row. This track record of success was once again on display in the 2022 congressional midterm elections, where we were able to roll back our COVID restrictions and thankfully did not have to contend with any major storms. As usual, we finalized the tabulation of results in a matter of hours. Consistency is why the Louisiana Legislative Auditor released a 45-page report just last year which confirmed the effectiveness of our policies and procedures. The report stated overall, quote, overall, we found the Department of State has procedures and practices to ensure election integrity, end quote. The policies they cite, in addition to my office's work with the legislature, have been vital in promoting integrity and efficiency in Louisiana's elections. We have worked to pass legislation that banned ballot harvesting, provides more accurate data from Louisiana Department of Health to conduct more accurate audits of our voter rolls, and strengthen the testing of our voting equipment. Further, I'm happy to say that Louisianans overwhelmingly fa are in favor of a constitutional, excuse me, voted in favor of a constitutional amendment in December of last year that prohibits non-citizens from registering or voting in any election in our state. Participation in our democracy is both a right of American citizens and a tremendous responsibility for those that exercise it. It is how we as Americans exercise political power over our government, our nation, and ultimately each other. As citizens, we rely on the assumption that those who have a say over how we govern ourselves are our fellow citizens. That is why the practice of non-citizen voting is particularly egregious. It is wrong in principle and in practice. It could open the door for foreign nationals with no loyalty to our communities and our country to exercise political power over our fellow citizens. These types of laws have the potential to irreparably weaken one of the strongest ties that binds us together as a nation. Even the Washington Post's editorial board agrees. Our state utilizes a top-down approach to the administration preparation and execution of its elections, whereby our policies and procedures are set in the Secretary of State's office and flow downstream to the registrars of voters and the clerks of court in all 64 parishes. This gives Louisiana much needed uniformity in our elections. Whether a voter is in St. Bernard Parish, Beauregard Parish, or Bossier Parish, they will be voting on the same system, in the same manner, with the same procedures for tabulation and reporting. This top-down approach to elections is what allowed us to have over 1.4 million votes tabulated within five hours of poll closure on election night in 2022. It is this system that keeps Louisianans from having to wait two weeks to learn who their elected representatives are going to be. Despite the resources available to election officials, it took some states days and weeks to, stab to tabulate their results. This in turn has created space for some to question the integrity of their state's elections. As election officials, we have to get it right the very first time, every time. Any deviation from that standard risks losing the trust of the voters. That trust is the lifeblood of our democracy. The best way for officials to counter claims of fraud or interference is to leave no room for doubt, 
zero room for doubt, gives voters every reason to trust their elections and our democracy.